Hey everyone, Nifty Thrifty Girl here in the early days of spring, Mar mid March 2019, with a new home, model 552. This is a vintage 60s machine. It is a tank, it is heavy, it is clean as a pin, it looks brand spanking new. It has 30 built in stitch patterns plus an automatic built in buttonholer. Um, it's just an all around great machine. Um, as I said, it is all metal. Um, it's a class 15 machine, meaning it uses 15 uh, class 15 bobbins that are easily purchased anywhere. It's a high shank machine. Um, high shanks we don't come around come um, come by very often, but this is just a standard high shank. And my husband just told me there's a plastic ear in there, so. Um, but it's good. Everything's been tested. So, but it's really cool. It sews very smooth, which I'm going to show you in a minute. It's super easy to operate after you know how to do it. And to help with that is, of course, the original instruction manual. Um, very detailed. I learned just in a quick half a minute how to operate the knob to get all the designs. It's really easy. So that comes with it. Um, also, there's a vintage box that says Kenmore on the top, but all the stuff inside is high shank, and it will fit this machine. And this is chock full of all kinds of stuff. There's a gathering foot, binder, hemmers, ruffler, zipper foot, screwdriver, bobbins. This is chock full of pretty much anything that you would want to use that are um, your basic attachments and accessories. So, cute, great feature there. So I'll just go over real quickly how this works so if someone is just out looking for information on this model that maybe just found it at a yard sale or something. Um, so this is really cool as you can see there's an automatic and a super automatic here and each is its own row of designs. So what you do up here is you change to whatever row that you want, the super auto or the plain auto. But this knob does not turn, which changes designs, unless you turn everything off. So you turn off. Magically now, you can change your design. And like I said, top row, bottom row, depends on what your lever is set on up here. Your bobbin winder is up here as well. You can see the automatic button holder there. Um, everything's pretty cool. So I'm going to sew with it here in just a second for you so you can see. And I will offer this for sale on my Facebook page and also it will be over on eBay. If you purchase off of Facebook, it's just a little cheaper for you. Um, I do take PayPal, everything's protected. Feel free to check out my eBay feedback. But Facebook's a little cheaper only because um, the eBay fees aren't involved. So whichever way you want to do it. So I'm going to put this in here. Let's see what we're at. We are off, and I stopped at, let's do the checkerboard pattern. I think that one just shows how everything does. So it's number 14. I'm on automatic, so I want to make sure I'm on automatic up here, and I am. I want to turn this back to auto. So auto kind of like does its own thing. That's what most of the um, settings are on, but you do also have manual capability of controlling the width. So this is the checkerboard. And of course your length will play a factor in what your design looks like and how stretched out or crunched up it is once it's sewn. You can hear it, it's very smooth machining. This does have a standard size bed, like a Singer or a White, so it will fit in a Singer sewing table that they're easy to find. Watch your thrift stores for them and you'll find one if you would want to mount this in a cabinet to, to just have the convenience of that, or as you can see, it's fine on a tabletop. There's your checkerboard pattern, pretty cool. Of course, that's one of the built-ins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this to off so I can turn my knob and I'm going to go all the way over and we're just going to do a zigzag. Now I will point out that the bottom row that are super automatic, those are stretch stitches. So when you flip this over to super auto, the feed will work back and forth and make all of the stretch stitches that are on the bottom row. These all on top are regular and decorative stitches, no stretch. 
So 30 total stitches all together. So we're going to go over and do a basic zigzag. Okay, I flipped it. So now I want to automatically control my zigzag. So I'm going to go over all the way. And there's a regular zigzag. Now, it's pretty easy, so I just sewed a regular zigzag. So to change to the stretch, all I do is go up, flip this to super auto. Now this should change to a stretch stitch. And there it does. You can see the knob working up and back. You can see the fabric feeding up and back. Very cool. Regular zigzag, stretch zigzag, you see it doubled it up. Very nice. So, super great machine. Like I said, it is a tank. It, you can put it in the cabinet. It's a new home, 30 built in stitches, automatic buttonholer, super clean, looks brand new, not 50 to 60 years old. It looks like it just came off the store shelf. Serviced and ready to go. Thank you.